Well, looks like I found the issue, boys. We got a uh, backed out flywheel bolt. Playmakers. Okay. Out of my wrist, kind of been spinning. Man at the coop, mine with no tennis. Chop out the top, hit it the limit. I got some What's up, y'all? Trey be dipping in the building. You know what time it is. So, you guys saw the title of the video. Um, if you didn't watch the tune video, go check that out. You'll be up to date. Come back and you'll see why I had to pull the trans off. So if you decided not to go and see the other video, the tune video, the reason why I'm pulling the trans off is because pretty much this thing was giving us problems the entire tune um, for the second time, back to back. So um, we were fighting a fuel pressure issue, which once we finally got that sorted out, um, we ran into another issue where the cam, I have like adjustable cams on here and the cam moved on its own, that whole deal. And then when, then by the time we figured that out, it was like 11 o'clock, 11.30 maybe almost. So we decided to do one final pull. It did okay. And then it wouldn't go into gear. So I have an idea for what happened, but let's go ahead and dive in and figure out what really happened. Now, I didn't bore you guys with the setup for taking the trans off. The trans is off, you saw the little, uh, time-lapse clip I thought it was gonna take me longer it usually does but it came right out kind of I kind of could have just recorded that regular but I did get it out so we're gonna take a look at the clutch and see if there's anything super obvious so here's the trans um, I don't think anything's wrong with the trans personally uh, I thought it could be the throw out bearing I'm not really sure how to determine if a throw out bearing is bad um, Honestly, I usually kind of just replace them anytime I pull it out anyway. But again, I don't, I don't see anything super obvious with this. So I don't think it's the throw out bearing. I mean, somebody could let me know in the comments. This feels just like how about it was when I put it in. So, like I said, again, I don't see nothing super duper obvious with this. The fork looks fine. Yeah, the fork looks okay. Let's uh, take a look at the clizzutch. See if we see anything super obvious with the clutch. Splines are still good. All the bolts are in. Now, are they tight? I don't know. I have to figure out. I don't see nothing super obvious. I'm going to keep diving in. If I see, if I get to a point where I see something, then uh, I guess we'll cross that road. Well, looks like I found the issue, boys. We got a uh, backed out fly. wheel bolt and one is all the way back down damn near and then this one you can see the other one below it two below that one backed out as well so looks like we found our issue now it looks a little chewed too actually I do have some spare flywheel bolts so I think we'll go ahead and just replace those probably take them all out lock tighten maybe well, that's a relief. Clutch is good. It was just a flywheel. All right, well, luckily, I have some spare flywheel bolts. I think I'm just gonna replace the one that was real bad. Um, I do kind of vaguely remember 
trying to get this one, this bolt off, and you can see how chewed it is, especially compared to the other ones. So I think what happened was it stripped it slightly when I was taking it off, when I was swapping the motor from the other one to this one. And I want to say that uh, that's pretty much why it is, <laughs> why it backed out. So I'm going to replace it. Honda official, you know what I'm saying? And uh, tighten it back up. Got everything put back together. Um, easy fix, but not a quick fix. I say that. So I got everything pretty much put back together. Uh, I put trans fluid in it just now. Only thing I have to do now is pretty much bleed the clutch. So uh, once I do that, we all set. And now, well, then after that, I'll be able to drive it again. So. Uh, man, I'll I be honest with you, man. Sometimes you lose a lot of motivation to continuously work on your car. But sometimes you got to just do what you got to do. You know what I mean? This was just one of those scenarios. So, so if everything goes well and it shifts and goes through all the gears like it's supposed to, um, unfortunately, I didn't make the power that I wanted to make, but it does make some decent power uh we left off at four like about 460 before the clutch had went out or before the flywheel bolt had backed out <laughs> now now that we know what really happened so it'd be enough to have some fun with not as fun as you know 600 or 600 plus but um there's a few things that i want to do before i take it back to get tuned which probably won't be anytime soon um maybe like february but I'm just gonna enjoy it how it is right now. On low power, low boost. And just have fun with it, man. That's what it's all about. Wrenching is only part of the fun, but to actually be able to get in the car and drive it and enjoy it, it's a completely different thing. That that 350 to 450 power range is so clutch, bro. For the most part, everything in that power range is just, that's the sweet spot. Trust me, I mean, having gone through every power range or most of the power ranges, that 450, that 350 to 450 range is, it's not enough for you to smoke a whole bunch of fast cars, but as far as being able to like really enjoy the car and have it boosted and reliable, it's kind of a sweet spot, so. Playmakers. Okay. All the marvelous, kind of spin it, man at the coupe, mama no tennis, chop out the top, hit it the limit, I got some cake.